Hey Pioneers, happy Pi Day 2023. As many of you know, we celebrate Pi Day every 14th of March, not just because it appears as 314 on some calendars, but also because it marks the anniversary of Pi Network's official launch, which happened four years ago. Wow, time flies. Over the past year, we've made great achievements, such as enabling mass KYC, implementing a new dynamic mining mechanism, migrating pioneers onto mainnet, releasing Pi platform developer tools, and many more. Today, we are sharing several exciting news and key messages that aim to not only inform you, but also inspire you to take action yourself. Together, the core team and pioneers have executed on our shared priorities to build a project that reflects our shared goals of a more fair, distributed network built on Pi. The Pi community includes pioneers, the core team, and community developers. Now, we need to focus on what the entire Pi community can do together to move the main goals of the enclosed network forward and bring us closer to open network. These are just two goals. The first goal is mass KYC identity verification of the tens of millions of pioneers, followed by the migration of their mobile mining balances to the Pi blockchain. So people to KYC and move their Pi to the blockchain. And the second goal is the creation of real utilities for the Pi cryptocurrency through the Pi ecosystem. So people can use their Pi for apps, goods, and services. Two goals. We achieve these goals and we take down the mainnet firewall. As explained in the 2021 December white paper, these enclosed network goals are prerequisites for us to reach open network. To reach these goals, Pi Network relies on all members of the Pi community to come together and pitch in. Today, we are sharing several product releases and will offer specific guidance on how pioneers can make some more diverse decentralized efforts to contribute to Pi Network and its enclosed network goals faster. And all this is tied together under a central theme of what can I do for Pi? First, we'll take a look at what the core team is doing, and then we will talk about community developers and pioneers. As part of the first goal, today, the core team is making KYC open for all. To achieve this, we are introducing a tentative KYC program that gives accounts with more complex properties a chance to start their KYC, allowing the algorithm to make additional checks after they've submitted documents and passed the reviews by validators. We are also adding a new feature that allows pioneers to send mobile notifications to members of their referral and security circles to encourage them to also start their own KYC and migration process. As part of the second goal, utility building, we are releasing a testnet ecosystem interface that showcases testnet community apps. There, pioneers can explore in development Pi apps, give feedback to the community app developers, and get a preview of what the mainnet ecosystem may look like. Please exercise caution when trying incomplete apps and report any policy violations as necessary. To further support utilities creation, the core team has also made multiple improvements to developer resources, such as the app to user payments API, developer wallets, and we have improved hackathon facilitation through the Pi Brainstorm app. Additionally, we're introducing two new utility creation ambassador programs, the ecosystem ambassador and the local business ambassador. The ecosystem ambassadors are expected to proactively identify, reach out to, and engage with developers in their own personal and professional networks who can build new Pi apps or who, make the, who can make their existing apps compatible with Pi. Local business ambassadors are expected to onboard businesses onto Pi. Many small local businesses in many parts of the world are already accepting Pi as form of payment for real goods and services, and pioneers can play a critical role in onboarding new such businesses. Enough with the core team. Second, let's look at what community developers are doing. 
This can be glimpsed through the recent Pi Hackathon in the first quarter of 2023. With over 360 final submissions in the Hackathon, developers around the world showcased a variety of strong use cases, such as apps for social media, finance, marketplaces, games, news, and much more. You are invited to review Hackathon projects in the Pi Brainstorm app even before they are added to the testnet ecosystem interface. Such efforts of community developers contribute to the Pi network and ecosystem growth by building mobile web apps that can potentially bring true utility to pioneers. In the near future, we'll be rolling out even more developer programs to further support your Pi app building efforts. Third, let's look at what pioneers can do. As exciting as all these accomplishments have been, the objective that they have been moving us toward is the most exciting of all, transitioning from enclosed to open mainnet. However, we can only reach this objective when all participants, the core team, community developers, and pioneers make their own respective efforts to prepare the network in its maturity and readiness for the open network period. In other words, if we want the open network to come sooner, we have to work for it. Concretely, we need to achieve those two goals that I mentioned earlier, mass KYC followed by mainnet migration, and utility building. Now that all major essential infrastructure components for the KYC and ecosystem have been released, it's time for pioneers to join forces and build towards these two goals. There are three things you can do to contribute to the first goal of mass KYC and mainnet migration. First, pass KYC and migrate yourself if you haven't already. That means you submit your KYC application now and complete the mainnet checklist to migrate to mainnet. This checklist includes items such as creating and confirming your blockchain wallet where you can store your Pi. Second, you can become a KYC validator to enable others to KYC. The speed and throughput of a region's progress in KYC and migration depends on the abundant availability and responsible work of human validators in that region. So join forces to speed up the KYC and migration process in your region. And third, remind your friends to KYC as well. You can remind them in any way you want, really, including the new feature we are releasing that sends mobile notifications to your referral team and security circle. In summary, pioneers can help speed up the network KYC and migration process by getting themselves ready and by enabling and encouraging others to get ready for mainnet. For the second goal of utility building, there are a few things you can do. First, of course, Develop Pi apps if you can. If you have software engineering skills and can develop a web-based app, build a Pi app yourself. If you don't and you have a strong product vision, find partners and developers on Brainstorm, chats, and in real life to start building a Pi app. There are already many resources for developers to build on Pi, and more will come as the ecosystem evolves. But you don't necessarily have to develop Pi apps yourself to help the ecosystem building. You can actually participate in the new Ecosystem Ambassador program if you have any contacts who can build apps or can convert existing web apps into Pi apps. You can also become a local business ambassador. Local businesses are an important component to the Pi ecosystem and will make great contributions to building substance and utilities for the network. And lastly, use and review Pi apps. Even if you cannot build or join the above efforts, you can contribute by using Pi apps yourself. This way, you help developers build more useful apps that ultimately will serve you, the pioneers. Well, thanks to all pioneers for another great year of Pi Network. Now, more than ever, we are depending on everyone in the Pi community to come together and celebrate towards our shared goals to get us closer to open mainnet. Let us see what we can build together.